Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. The plan was to have my Puticana album finished in October, and it will be finished in October. This is my very last layout, and as you can see, it is Tuesday, October 31st. However, this layout will not go up on my channel until uh, later. So, the goal was achieved, guys. The goal is achieved. You're just not seeing it until later. So anyway, these are four uh, airplane photos, and I decided that I was just gonna scrapbook these all together instead of doing separate layouts for them. And I am using day 22 of Christie's Beautiful Life's uh, 30 Days of Sketches. This is by Jackie Cassiani. I hope I said that right. It's a two-page sketch, and it has landscape photos. Um, and minor portrait. So I don't know if I'm going to just turn the photos or I don't know if I'm going to turn the sketch. I haven't figured that out yet. But I have my uh, stencil, my photos, and papers that I want to use. So let's see what I can do. Alright guys, so originally this layout was supposed to go up on Saturday because I have my projects for Whiny Wednesday, and I also have uh, my Thursday project and my Mixed Media Mayhem project all ready to go. Um, but instead of this happening on Saturday, I'm going to film the layout that I was going to do live today for Whiny Wednesday. So I left work today with an absolute monster headache and I took um, some painkillers, and it's still, it's just still not completely gone. And um, I just don't have it in me to go live today. So that's where we are. So I am doing a two page layout. I am going to have a white background, and I've pulled out the papers that I had originally pulled for this layout. This paper is from, what was that collection called, you guys? Fifth of Monaco, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim the paper um, to basically be a humper border. You guys know I love me a good humper border. I'm going to do that on uh, two, different, um, two different pieces, so it spans the entire 12 by 24 canvas. Now, I will tell you that I am kind of following the sketch, but kind of not. I am doing the big uh, bars of paper uh, that are there, but I kind of do my own thing after I get the bars of paper down and just, you know, do my own thing because that is what I do. And that is what I hope I have encouraged some of you guys to do, is to do your own thing and not uh, just do what um, everybody else is doing. Unless you love what everybody else is doing, then do that. But, you know, don't don't think you have to follow a certain way or do a sketch a certain way or use a certain product. Um, my, whole, my whole mission um, is to encourage you to scrapbook in a way that is true to you. Um, that's very important to me. Um, and I hope that that comes across when uh, you guys are seeing uh, these things. Now, I will also tell you guys that tomorrow um, starts the series Thankful Thursday. So me and a couple of scrapbooking friends will be um, scrapbooking on Thursdays throughout November. All the things that we are thankful for. So it might be a you're scrapbooking a specific thing that you're thankful for. Um, it could be you're scrapbooking something and you just happen to be thankful for it. It is going to be a variety of different things. Um, I don't feel like I have the right to tell anyone how to be thankful. So um, it's however uh, they kind of want to share it. So that will happen tomorrow. Now tomorrow is also holiday launch day at work, so that is going to be an exciting time. 
Now I did take the up, up, and away stencil from Scrapping Reflections, and I just made sure to get some of those airplanes in the lower section, just so my white paper wasn't naked down here. Um, it wasn't done in such a way from a design standpoint, point, that I had a specific vision in mind for it. Like I wasn't thinking, oh yeah, my airplanes are gonna go here. Um, this was literally just a, I need something in the background so that this big expanse of paper down here isn't some big solid white thing. And plus, since I'm scrapbooking about airplanes, it totally made sense to do it. So I've got that matte print paper across the top, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that green humper border down here at the bottom. Now the one is definitely thicker than the other, and that is okay um, because I am gonna cover up that awkward gap. So I have this herringbone wood grain paper, and I'm going to place that across the top, um, and it still does not cover up all of the awkward gap right there, so I am going to uh, layer up some other things as well. Now I hope you can see from the sketch where these big, long, horizontal blocks are coming from and I am going to put down some washi tape and this is some map washi tape. It is in a khaki color so it's definitely going to go with the rest um, of the layout. We're just going to wrap that around the edge and then I decide that I'm going to put yet another layer of washi tape on this layout because why not, right? If I'm going with the big layers, I might as well just really go with the big layers. So go ahead and get that down. I'm gonna wrap that washi tape around as well. And now I've got my background. So as you can see, not a lot of those airplanes that I stenciled through, uh, the stencil are showing, but it's a good enough amount. So just so that this bottom portion right here um, is not going to be, um, this big white expanse of space. I'm also going to grab another washi tape. This is a scotch tape that has some diagonal lines on it. And I'm going to place that across the top because I really felt like there needed to be um, something decorative here at the top. I was toying around with the idea of doing that glitter ribbon again because that glitter ribbon is absolutely gorgeous and it is throughout the Punta Cana albums but ultimately I decided to stick with this color. Now I have this pink paper that I'm gonna to have to do some photo matting on. Um, ultimately I decide that I'm not going to mat the photos on here. I'm going to create a couple blocks of pink paper that is going to uh, go across both of the layouts right here. And then I get those down and I am covering up um, a decent amount of what um, I just built with the blocks of um, color, but ultimately I think it gives you a continuous look across the entire page from left to right, so I am not upset that I am covering things up at all. I do decide to mat my photos on some black cardstock, uh, a very thin border of black cardstock, um, what that's going to do is just keep my photos kind of together um, and bring your eye to them a little bit better than leaving them uh, unmatted. And then I'm going to leave a little gap of color on the edge. So I'm not going to butt these photos all the way up to the edge of the layout. Um, I am going to leave that little gap of color. So even though this is a continuous from left to right layout, there is a gap so that you can see uh, that these are two different uh, pages, which I don't even know why I was worried about that because these are going in a three ring album. And of course, the, the page protectors keep the pages separated anyway, unless you um, tape or sew or something your two page protectors together, which I'm not bothering with. I don't think it is necessary. Um, so I've got a uh, product now. I don't have a lot of product left from this kit. Um, I will say from the original kit, I have had to add more and more product. Uh, my, my original kit was super tiny and I just needed more stuff to scrapbook with, right? 
Um, so I am choosing what I want to do right now. And I'm going to use a combination of these Simple Stories uh, foam stickers and also these puffy stickers from Rosie Studio. Now I did um, cut off the Y off of beachy so that the word is just beach right now. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and add in these stickers. Now I did put that arrow there originally, but I end up pulling that off and I don't think the arrow goes back on this layout um, after I, I get uh, the rest down. So now I am looking at my letter stickers and trying to figure out what words I can spell uh, within this package of letter stickers. So I eventually figure it out um, and use a good amount of them, which is awesome. You know, if you're going to go through the trouble and the process of buying um, letter stickers, you should probably be able to use them. Um, definitely should be able to use them. Now, these are easy to do a DIY yourself. You can buy a set of dies and foam right? Multicolored foam and make your own. Uh, so you don't have to depend on uh, the limitations of pre-packaged letter stickers. So it says, hello beach, here we go. Now, honestly, you guys, I don't know if these airplane pictures are all going to Punta Cana, if they were for our layover in Panama, or if they were um, heading home. I, I don't know. Uh, I did not keep that detailed of rec records of my uh, looking out the airplane window photos. So we're just going with it. And then I decide that I need to bring in some of these washi tapes. And this washi tape has blocks of color on it, but it is very thin. So I'm going to do what I like to do with thin washi tapes or clear stickers or thin planner stickers. And that is going to be to mount them on some thicker paper. And what that does is it gives those stickers a bit of rigidity. So they're not going to be uh, leaning down over the, um, the lumps and bumps on your page from other papers and things. So I go ahead and get those down. And I love the little bit of color. It brings in all of the variety of colors that I've already got going on here on this layout. So it just kind of pulls everything in and I especially like that. Now I have to do the same thing with the second color. So I had two of the exact same washi sheets, which turned out to be pretty good for me so that I could do this. Um, if it didn't have the exact same washi sheets, I would probably have used just different washi and not even like thought about it a second time. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get those down. And now I'm going to find decorations that I can use. So I have been scrapbooking for a dang long time now. 27 years, I think. And I still, um, still call embellishing the page decorating because that's, that's what... I started out with, right? Like I was decorating and adding text to my pages and I still think of journaling as text and I still think of embellishing as decoration. So sometimes that, sometimes that comes out and sometimes it doesn't, but no, in my head, those, those terms are the ones that are floating around. So I've got this palm tree over here on the left, and then I am going to uh, create a cluster over here on the right with some florals and shells and such things. And I mess around with this cluster for a hot minute until I finally get it to where I like it. Um, you know, when you're, when you're building um, these little piles of decorations, these little clusters, it's, it's gotta feel right, right? Like it's gotta feel like this should be going together. So I had the seaweed in the shell and I was like, yeah, that works but I didn't like the way that it looked with the rest of the page. So that seaweed's gonna come up. And honestly, the seaweed goes into the bin. Um, I'm not gonna save it and you know try to save it for a future uh, 
water or under the sea or little mermaid layout although it did cross my mind to save it for a little mermaid layout I was like no Sandy there is plenty of other seaweed in your stash you don't need to save this one little tiny piece of paper so I'm going to build a cluster down here as well um, down there I actually put the palm tree upside down so you only see the palm fronds uh, I don't think that that is like wrong right like it it worked out the way I wanted it to so I totally feel that it is uh, completely fine to do and then uh, again I'm messing around with that uh, shell cluster up at the top just to make sure everything uh, turns out the way I want it to so I've got these uh, three little uh, foam stickers left off of this big sticker sheet and I'm going to cut them down and put them in with embellishments uh, instead of saving that whole package and putting it in with my sticker sheets because basically for those three tiny little stickers that I am going to save because I think they're worth it um, I don't need to use the space in my sticker holder um, for that full entire sheet right so I'm going to get rid of the packaging um, I'm not a fan of packaging to begin with the more packaging you hold on to, the more space it takes up in your room, which means the less product you can have because your space is being filled with packaging rather than product. So that kind of drives me crazy. So we're getting rid of that packaging. Now I am going to um, go ahead and um, add a little bit more decoration around here. I've got these little uh, printed wooden hearts. So those are gonna go up, and then I'm also uh, eventually gonna find some enamel dots that are hanging out in the kit still, and I will put those around the layout. Uh, again, just because this is not gonna add a whole lot of bulk to the layout. It does add some, but not too much. Um, and as you guys know, I'm wrapping up this album, so I, don't, I didn't need the extra bulk. Luckily, all of my layouts fit into the two albums. Um, and you guys will she see that album share here in a couple days. So now the enamel dots are down and I've definitely uh, gone off script for the sketch, but I am completely happy with this layout. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate the time that you spend with me here on the channel and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.